Well, some sad breaking news to bring to you this morning. Anthony Bourdain is dead in an apparent suicide. This is according to CNN that announced his death this morning. He had been in France working on an upcoming episode of his CNN show, Parts Unknown. Bourdain was found dead in a hotel room by his close friend, French chef, and the founder of New York's Le Bernardin, Eric Repair. In a statement, the network saying his love of great adventure, new friends, fine food and drink, and the remarkable stories of the world made him a unique storyteller. His talents never cease to amaze us, and we will miss him very much. Anthony Bourdain Maria was just 61 years old. Back to you. Such a terrible story. And, and, and this week, we heard Kate Spade also killed herself. And Dagan, you have research from the CDC that suicide rates are up in every state, but in half the country, what? It, the suicide rate since 1999 in 25 of the states are up more than 30 percent overall from 99 to 2016. Um, the overall nationwide suicide rate has gone up 30 percent. So again, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a call to action for everybody in this country to, to do more uh, in terms of um, making to, to, there's the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. I think that that's one of the most incredible phone numbers that everybody can have access to. And uh, one other thing, we should point out that uh, Anthony Bourdain leaves behind a young daughter um, she's around 11 years of age. Uh, again, Kate Spade also had a young daughter who she left behind. And I, I speak from personal experience on this, that for all those people who have ever had a loved one, a close friend, or a family member who took their own life, th this kind of national news, you might not have ever known Anthony Bourdain or Kate Spade, but it revives the grief and the hurt and the guilt that goes along when you have a loved one who takes their life. And so there are a lot of people out there who are grieving, who are struggling to cope with the news of Anthony Bourdain and Kate Spade. So look out for them. Look out for them. Think about them. Because, again, the, the hurt that people experience and the, the, the burden that individuals carry with them for the rest of their lives when they have a loved one who takes their own life, is it's indescribable and in some instances it's insurmountable. Yeah, suicide is one of only three sicknesses that are actually rising. Alzheimer's, drug abuse, drug overdose, and suicide. It's actually rising. Um, just terrible. Our thoughts with his family.